the key to solving a system of equations by using elimination is to get matching numbers in front of matching variables. So you're either going to have to find the least common multiple between 5 and 3, which would be 15, or the least common multiple between 2 and 1, which would be 2. I think it's easier to do the 2 because then I'm only going to have to multiply one equation by something. If I would multiply the second equation by a negative 2, then I would have a positive 2 and a negative 2 in front of the y's. So my system is going to be 5x plus 2y equals 12. And 3 times negative 2 is negative 6x. Negative 2 times y is negative 2y. And 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. Then you add your two equations together. 5x plus negative 6x is negative 1x. The 2y minus the 2y eliminates, becomes my 0. And 12 plus a negative 14 is negative 2. Divide each side by negative 1. And you end up with x equals 2. Then you do just like what you do on substitution. You take that 2 and you plug it back up into one of the two original equations and solve for y. So I'm going to use the second equation. So I'm going to say 3 times 2 plus y equals 7. So that's going to be 6 plus y equals 7. Subtract 6 on each side, and I end up with y equals 1. So I think my answer is 2, 1. And then, of course, I can check it. So when I check it, um, I should get true equations. Get this written right. So 2, comma, 1. Okay, so then when I check it, if I go back into my first equation, it's 5 times 2 plus 2 times 1 actually going to give me 12. So is 10 plus 2, 12? Yes. So I know that checks. So it worked in the first equation. Now it's got to work in my second equation. So is 3 times 2 plus 1 actually going to give me 7? So is 6 plus 1 equal to 7? Yes. So I know I've got the right